Hey guys, Cody from Southeast Soft Wash. Today we're doing a video bringing you guys another demo of our chemical products. So we've got about eight chemicals that we sell. This is one of them. We have not showcased it yet. It's called Gutter Guard. And what this is for is tiger striping the vertical lines that you'll see on the face of gutters. You guys that are in the industry part-time or full-time, you know what we're talking about. So let's go over here and take a look at this house. We've got a really good example for you. Let's check it out. Okay, so behind us here, we've got a really good example of tiger striping on the face of the gutter. If you guys have been doing this kind of work for any amount of time, you're gonna be real familiar with what we're talking about. A lot of times when you're doing a house wash, you can get a good bit of that on the gutters to clean up if it's organic. Again, when we're doing a house wash, remember we're using SH and some surfactant to take care of the organic growth. This is not organic. That's a uh, product of the rain jumping over the face of the gutter. And you'll see it a lot of times when these roofs are really steep pitched, especially on metal roofs, that rain's really rolling off quickly. And so it's just hopping the face and it leaves that build up over time. Those tiger stripes is kind of what the industry jargon is. Take a look right here at this section as well. Shows up pretty good here. So we're gonna need a different chemical for that. And that's where gutter guard comes in. It's a really easy process and we really recommend you guys to be offering this to your clientele. It's gonna have a really big pop a wow factor for them. And if they don't opt in for that, they can't complain about the gutters not looking great once you finish that basic house wash. So this would be in kind of our gold package if you're doing packages or if you're doing it a la carte, make sure you line item this out. It's a very profitable service. National average pricing is about a dollar to a dollar fifty per linear fit, linear foot, linear feet. You can figure how many linear feet are around a house. So if you wanna make another couple hundred dollars per job, this is a good way to do it. Let's go back to the truck and we're gonna walk through the process. There are a little few things you wanna make sure you don't mess up on, or you'll get to repaint some gutters. And uh, I've repainted gutters before, but there's a way to do it where you're not gonna mess up gutters and you're gonna get that good result. Let's go check out the truck. Okay, it's pretty basic guys. What we wanna do initially is wet the gutter. Now I've got enough water in my skid here. We've got our 12 volt system set to just water we'll be able to just use the truck here and not need any of the customer's water. So we're gonna pre-wet those sections. I like to work in small manageable chunks, you know, 20, 30 foot long sections at a time. So we keep an eye, make sure we don't start etching the paint. We're gonna need our chemical, of course. Now you can cut this stuff 50-50. Uh, we're using it straight here today because this is really severe and we can manage that small area. A lot of times 50-50 is fine. This does not work great on really cold days. If you're out there and it's below about 45 degrees, I would wait till midday and try to do it when it's a little bit warmer. Uh, but we need obviously a way to apply it. So we don't run this through the soft wash system, pump up sprayer or a spray bottle. And this being brick is gonna be a little more forgiving. If it's hardy plank, I will not spray the gutter. I'll spray my brush so I don't get a lot of overspray on the siding. The brick won't be a problem with that. Uh, and you will need a soft bristle brush this is not a great one. This is just something we grab locally, but extendability, you know, you wanna be able to reach on up there and soft bristle so it gets full contact. They actually make brushes for this. Uh, Mark Soft, I'll put a link in the comments down there in the description box as well. It's called a Mark Soft brush. It's made to fit the face of the gutter. These work just fine as well. You can get these locally. Home Depot, I think, even has some better ones with much longer handles. So let's grab our Kim, grab our hose. We'll go over here and get started. Thank you. 